Hi everyone, I am hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how we can actually set the user setting using the Zoom Users REST API. Okay, we are keep continuing with the Zoom Users REST API. In this session, we will learn how we can actually get the user token. Okay, so for that, we first need to create a const variable for the relative path URI. So we say here const user token okay and we need to create a helper for that path so that we can pass the user id and we say here users slash user id okay and token okay so this is the token as a relative path so this where we can get a request using the different query filter parameters here we say user token Need to farm it okay inside this id you can pass any value from these three values if you uh, if you have a oauth app then you can pass me neither you can pass email or user unique id okay so inside the helper we first need to import that so here we say user token and at the bottom we need to create a helper there we say const user token by user id okay and we say async and we need to pass the filter because we have a different filter query parameters so inside the filter we have a user id which is a required parameter okay and other two parameters we can pass is a query so we can pass type so inside the type we can pass token either we can pass zek okay so by default, if, if we are not going to pass any value from these two values, then by default, it will be a token, okay? And in the TTI uh, and other uh, parameter we can pass, which is a TTL, which means time to live, okay? So this is the expiry uh, time we can set to the token. So we, if we are setting uh, the value uh, and the value will be in seconds, okay? The time will be in a seconds. If we are setting the value as per our choice, then we can set. If not, then by default, will be it will be a 7,200 uh, seconds, okay? Let's start to build the endpoint. So we say user token URI, and we need to build that and append. We say here user token, and we pass filter dot user id okay and we need to append type okay so we first need to check from the filter if filter have a type then we are going to pass that if not then we are going to set back okay and and we append the ttl so we say here if filter dot ttl have then we are setting that if not then we are setting 7200 okay and we just need to put the axis so here we say const data await and we say axis and we need the url set the url to you user token url and method will be gate and headers will be the authorization header so we need to copy this paste it here okay and we need to then response and we say here uh, response and we need to set cage we say error return error and we need to return the data okay so for accessing this endpoint you must be have a user read other user read admin scope okay and this endpoint have a uh, light rate limit that means you can send 30 requests per second if you have a problem and if you have business plus okay then you can send 80 requests per second okay now let's export this so we say user token by user id need to format the code and inside the api we first need to import that so here we say user token by user id at the bottom, we need to create an endpoint. Okay, so we have say a dot gate, and we say API slash zoom slash need to user ID pass as a parameter, and then we say a token. Okay, and async request response, 
And here we just say let token will be await and we call user token by user ID and we pass request.query. Okay. And we set here request.query dot user ID will be request.parents.user ID. Okay. Need to export the sorry, need to re return the responses.json. And here we say token. Need to place a semicolon, format the code, and start the API. So you say in game start. First, need to place a breakpoint. So we place a breakpoint here and here. And now request. So we first need to authorize. We say API zoom authorize enter. We have authorized, so we say localhost for 4000 slash API slash Zoom, and we need to pass the email. And now we say token. Okay, need to hit enter. So we have a response. So inside the response, we have a token. So by default, currently we do not have a set at any type. Okay. You can see in the URI, we do not have a, okay, we have a part of a set type. Okay? From the query, we do not have a set. So by default, this is a tag, okay? Uh, Zag, sorry. Okay, so by default, we have a set here, Zag token. If we have just not set the type, then by default, it will be a token, only token. And that token is a not usable right now because Zoom have a deprecated that token, okay? So that token will be used if that endpoint was not deprecated, then we can use that, we will be, we will, we will be able to use that token as access token, but now that's a deprecated. So we can only use this token and find also for the ZEG uh, usage, okay? So I'm hopeful that you have enjoyed this session. If you have any query regarding this session, then just please place a comment on a video comment section. Other you can share your suggestion and queries via my shared contact details. Uh, hopefully we will come back with the next session. Take care, bye-bye.